This is what then Prime Minister Boris Johnson said in June 2021 about the Australia Free Trade Deal, the first agreement negotiated from scratch after Brexit. Uh, this is the first uh, freestanding free trade deal that the UK has done uh, since Brexit. And it's also therefore a prelude to further deals. I think uh, congratulate negotiators on both sides on what I think is a good deal uh, for Britain. Now listen to former Environment Secretary George Eustace addressing the House of Commons today. I was in the Cabinet uh, in 2021 and I was in this Cabinet subcommittee that argued over the Australian trade deal. For yes, there were uh, deep arguments and differences over how we should approach this. But since I now enjoy the freedom of the backbenches, I no longer have to put such a positive gloss on what was agreed. The first step is to recognise that the Australia trade deal is not actually a very good deal for the UK. The truth of the matter is that the UK gave away far too much for far too little in return. Remember Johnson told the public it was a good deal uh, for Britain. What we got was this. We lose 4% of our GDP by Brexit. We gain 0.08% by the government's own estimate through this trade deal with Australia. And then there's the trade deal with New Zealand. British farmers have reacted with shock to the terms of a new free trade deal with New Zealand. The deal will see kiwi meat imported without tariffs and farmers in the UK say they get nothing in return. It's us surrendering to you uh, New Zealanders and giving you a great deal and we're getting nothing out of it. 